Hello guys, and today I have another unboxing. It is Fate Caladlina Prism Ilia. I have probably pronounced that wrong, but whatever. It's Fate Ilia. Uh, one of the latest Fate Stay Night spin offs. It's got nothing to do with the uh, main Fate Stay Night series. Uh, so if you so yeah, if you haven't seen Fate Zero uh, or the main Fate Stay Night series, so Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade works, then yeah, you can just jump in jump into this really. Uh, though yeah, if you probably enjoy a bit more if you are an actual Fate Stay Night fan because it's just another different series. Um, no, I don't think it's as good as the. Uh, the Fates of Night parody series, Carnival Phantasm, I mean, that was just really good. I hope it, at some point that gets a release over here, uh, and hopefully be dubbed. Not by Sentai Filmworks, though. Um, but, hey, who knows. Anyway, yeah, this is the collector's edition of the Fate Ilya series. Uh, another thing I should mention is that, yeah, it's a magical girl show. Um, but it is pretty much just a, a parody of that, so, you know, still somewhat enjoyable, and it's fate, so, yeah, anyway, that's all. Yeah, here's some really nice artwork, again, there's the spine, and, yep, here are the discs, Ilya and Ren Tosito. Yeah, and yep, have a really nice picture. There is some really good artwork in this. I know Limited do do some very nice releases. This is a, this is actually a really nice release for the series. Yep. This is a rather enjoyable series, especially for Fae fans. Though the dub is one of the ones I would say is kind of just meh, it's, I mean, since it's done by Sendai Filmworks, I thought that they would get some of the original cast members from the original series back, or, or something like that, but no, everyone's new, and we get those the tarot cards, and, yeah, rather nice. Is there anything on the other side? Uh, Yeah, the um, uh, the uh, the yeah, the dub. They just kind of I got a whole bunch of new people. I think probably uh, some of the really good actresses that are in this series are um, kind of like side roles. I mean, definitely, um, which is a bit disappointing, especially when Brittany Karbowski is in it. Uh, but she's only playing a side character. At least I. Well, I can remember, I can't really remember the series that well, anyway, yes. We have the artwork, some key animation, some key, art, key artwork and stuff. Really nice picture, but yeah. That's the downside about the dub, there's just not really that many uh, great actor, actors or actresses in it, and heck, even Tiffany, I mean, Tiffany Grant does okay where she is, same as Brittany Kaboski, it's just a shame that didn't have bigger roles, or at least from what I can remember. Uh, but anyway, I will definitely be watching this series again at some point. But anyway, yeah, that's the unboxing for the series. It's actually a really nice and well put together uh, Blu ray collector's edition. The only thing I'd say that's bad is that I actually had to order this twice, and that was mostly because when I ordered it from Amazon, for some unknown reason, they they sent me a copy without the discs, so I had to send it back, and then they sent me another one. It's it was insane. So I would recommend trying to order this from all the Animes Online store, or if you're going to Comic Con, see if they've still got it there. Um, it it will probably be cheaper than it is on Amazon anyway. I think the last time I saw it, it was going for. 30, maybe 25 pounds on all the anime's site, whereas on Amazon it's 35 to 45 pounds. 
Uh, I think I paid a bit less for it at the time, but not by much. But either way, but either way, yeah. Uh, reasonable series, really nice collector's edition. And yeah, it's if you're a fan of Fate Stay Night, it is worth checking it out. Anyway, thanks for watching.